I went to school in, at Baylor University in Waco, Texas, and there was a bunch of kids from the oil and gas industry. And I remember hearing them talk about some of the new technologies that were coming. We'd have these conversations about where we're going to run out of oil because there was a belief in the 90s that that was like inevitable that the United States and just globally we're going to run out of oil. That hasn't happened. What What is the story there? Yeah, I mean, what's happened with American oil and gas production is nothing short of amazing. It is a uh, technological revolution. And, you know, there's this clip from Steve Jobs back in the late 80s or early 90s. And he talks about oil and gas being a technological revolution, especially petrochemicals, and how that unlocked all of this energy and allowed humans to spend more of their time thinking and then build computers. And then he started talking about how computers someday you'll be able to ask it a question and get an answer and starts talking about AI. And so to really see over the last hundred years what oil and gas has enabled us to do. And if you look at that, you know, that, that time period from the early 1900s to let's call it the early 2000s, things didn't really look that much different. If you look at the drilling rigs that I worked on in 2010, I can go find pictures from the 30s and 40s. Looks like the same exact drilling rig. Like I could go work on that rig. Those guys could, if they could come into the future, they could work on that rig. So what changed? Around the 2010 timeframe, um, we really started looking at uh, shale formations. And so the way that we used to drill wells is shale is the source rock for oil and oil would start seeping up and it would get caught in these traps or these salt domes. And so what would happen is we'd drill a vertical well down into these salt domes into these pools of oil and we'd suck it out like a straw. That was essentially how it happened. But what we found out is that the oil actually originates in what we call the source rock, the shell. But the problem is, is you can't drill a well and go vertical into that because shell is a very low porosity, low permeability type of rock. So oil doesn't flow. So if you drilled a, or a, a vertical well into that, you just wouldn't have enough exposure to the rock to make an economic well. So what happened is some really smart, uh, people, um, both in engineering and in finance, figured, hey, we can drill straight down and then we can kick off our well and go horizontal and drill right through that shale rock. And so we can get 10,000 feet of exposure to that rock and then we can frack it, open it up, bust the rock open so that oil can flow through. And what this really enabled was this quote unquote manufacturing process. And it allowed capital to come in and deploy capital at scale. 